Open also in lane seven, Rodriguez as well. Glock is 21 years of age, a silver in the relay already and bronze in the world's last year. So the lineup is from lane two, McLean from New Zealand, Yang Hong from China, Glock in three, Crispin Corzo in four, Semenenko from Ukraine in six, and Rodriguez in seven from Brazil. So expect some noise here for the Brazilians. So it was a strong start from Semenenko in six. He's taken the early lead. He's gone out very hard for the butterfly. And that dolphin kick working well. And Semenenko is a very strong backstroker as well. So he'll be wanting to make uh, his move in the opening two legs. But it looks like Crispin Corso of Colombia, Talis and Glock have just come back fighting really hard here. Yang Hong of China as well going decently in lane three all passing Simonenko here after his impressive start and the touch at the wall first is by the Colombian Crispin Corso. So a lead of just over a second there for Crispin Corso. He obviously got off to a sluggish start in that first 50 but built through that 50 butterfly but it's neck and neck here as we enter the first the second 25 of the second lap the backstroke leg and it looks as though Glock is just going to pull in front and we'll cruise in at the 100 metre mark. So Glock enjoying the backstroke leg. And it'll be Yang Hong from China in third position as well. So opening up a little bit of a lead here is Glock. Well, he's been a medalist at the last two World Championships in this event. He's a good all-round swimmer, is Talisson Glock, without completely dominating one stroke. Crispin Corso, however, is a very, very good breaststroker, but he completely dominates in the freestyle events. He's a multiple world champion in freestyle events, and indeed, when it comes to the freestyle, if he is leading at the wall, you would expect that uh, Crispin Corso is going to bring this home for the victory. Yang Hong is also very strong in the back end of IMs, and he's showing it with his breaststroke. Talisson Glock is now fading slightly, and not to say he's fading, it's just that uh, Crispin Corso and Yang Hong are swimming a lot faster, a lot better. Crispin Corso surely won't lose it here as he enters the final 50. Yang is also quick, but just how much pace does he have back in? So Crispin Corso, the crowd willing the Brazilian athlete Glock to stay in touch there, and he's slightly off the pace, but the Chinese and the Colombian athlete are dueling it out for the first position in this heat two of the individual medley and it could well be that Yang Hong has the advantage but it'll be a touch in it at this stage. Crispin Corzo finishing strongly over the final 15 metres. It looks as though he should comfortably finish in first position of heat two. It'll be the Chinese athlete touching in third and the Brazilian at second rather and the Brazilian touching in third. Don't forget we've still got another Brazilian athlete to come as well so expect another cheer from the crowd. Valinsky, you can see at the top of your screen. And Christiakis from Greece touching in as well. And the support you can hear from the Olympic Aquatic Stadium is for the final swimmer, Roberto Rodriguez from Brazil. Touching in in sixth position. So the final time there, Crispin Corzo, 2.42.25. More than a second faster than the previous heat. So shortly we'll be able to give you confirmation of the final lineup for the final of the men's 200 metres individual medley SM6. So could see Crispin Corzo there in the pink cap. Well, this was Semenenko at the turn, but Crispin Corzo leading. And Crispin, already a silver medalist in the 50 free and multiple world champion of the 100 free. Not going to lose it on the back end, a very strong breaststroke. And again, words of uh, congratulation for his opponents. Talisson Glock of Brazil. 
Yeah, little kiss for the camera. <laughs> Brisbane Pools are the 24-year-old, so 